Okay, welcome back and today we're going to continue with the last lesson on double sticks and then we're going to see coordination. In the past video we were discussing about do, uh, two sticks but also we were seeing two beats which is pretty much just covering the uh, blocks or the redirections and that's it. We were not countering, we were not doing anything, right? So today we're going to see a third beat and a fourth beat and how to incorporate that to your arsenal. So the first thing, if you remember, we're going to do a little recap was the three options that we have. One in which we redirect with both six like this and we came back again, one, two, and we came back. Second option was redirect plus strike with an angle so I can strike the hand, this, and I came back one more time, this, and I came back, right? The third option that we saw was redirecting and striking the strike and now I'm taking into account the other strike. Again, one more time, this. So one more time, this. So the first one I redirect, the second one I strike. Got it? As usual, I'm using just a very simple back and forth motion so we don't complicate things any further. And now we're just gonna add the third beat. So, um, these, as I said, would be the equivalent of, well not the equivalent, would be just the blocking, but we're not countering yet, right? We're not doing anything uh, at all except on the second one, kind of, where we're targeting the hand, but we're gonna see how we transform that into a more efficient way. So the first thing is the two redirections on the same side. Again, this is a, an attack on this angle. I redirect and I redirect with the other one. And now the third beat is gonna be I'm stepping to the front and I'm gonna strike the hand that has attacked me. So I know I know that probably is going to be like, well, why would you waste so much time in the same hand? Because if you count is dealing with the same hand with three beats, is one beat, the person is striking me, I redirect, second beat, third beat in the same hand, the other person has another hand. I know that, but we're practicing coordination, so we will see how to transform that into a more efficient way in a second, but bear with me, sorry, one, two, three, okay? And we can repeat the same on the other side, one, two, getting out of the way, and three. I'm gonna repeat one, two, and three. So again, one, two, three. One beat redirects, second beat redirects, third beat attacks the hand that is attacking me. If it comes from this side, one, two, three, one, two, and three, right? So that's the first case scenario. Second case scenario was redirection plus striking the hand with an angle here, like this, one more time here, like this. So that way, it allows me to not only redirect, but also strike the hand that is attacking me. But now I'm going to include a third beat attacking that same hand by stepping and striking the hand. So again, one, two, three, one more time. One, two, three. As you see, I'm focusing more on uh, pushing uh, rather than striking all the way through on the third beat. Why? Because I want to control that hand. I don't want to just cause damage. If I fail and I go all the way through, I'm gonna be in a more compromised position. What I want is to open a door. So this is what I'm doing. One, two, three, open the door on that side. So again, one, two, three, open the door on that side, okay? Same thing on the other side. One, two, three. One more time. One, two, three. These actually should be one bit. This and three. But in the beginning, Use one hand, the other hand, and the other hand. One beat, two beats, three beat, and I step forward. So always put together the third beat and the attack, and the step at the same time. One, two, three, a step forward. Okay, one more time. One, two, three, okay? So the fourth case scenario was one, two, one redirects, and the other one strikes the other stick, and now I'm going to go back and strike the first hand. So again, one, two, three. One more time, one, two, three. So I'm redirecting, striking the strike again, redirecting, striking the strike, and striking the first hand. One more time, one, two, three. Same on the other side, one, two, three. Make sure that this is not redirecting, but actually striking the strike. The first one is a redirect, but the second one is not. It's a striking the strike. So again, one, two, 
and then three. Make sure that it's not this in which you move the stick all the way through, but one striking the strike and third striking the hand. So again, one redirect, second one strike, third strike the other hand, okay? So we have covered the three possibilities with three beats in both sides. Now, how to incorporate the fourth beat? The fourth beat is going to be a strike to a different part of the body. So the third beat was clearly targeting the hand. The fourth beat is going to be once you have created that opening, because you have uh, your strike on the third beat was in the hand, you're opening a door. The fourth beat is going to be a blow to either the head or the uh, ribs. I want to see when to use one and when to use the other one. So the first one was one, two, redirecting, okay? And then third was taking care of that hand. Look at the position of my stick. Now it's easier for me to strike the head all the way through. That's it, so again, one, two, three, checking the hand, four, the head. So one more time, one, two, three, four. One more time, one, two, three, four. I go back and I go forward and I strike. It's just two steps, one, two, three, four, all the way through, okay? Same on the other side, one, two, three, four, all the way through. One, two, three, four, all the way through. One, two, three hand, four head, all the way through. One, two, three, four, all the way through, okay? Now, second possibility was one redirecting, the other one striking. One, two, three, the hand that you strike me first, that's the one that I'm gonna strike in this case, right hand, right? Now look at the position of the hand. My hand with my stick is in a lower position. If I try to go high, I'm gonna interrupt that movement. So to not interrupt, I have two choices. One is either I move this towards the other side, and yes, I can strike to the head. Again, one, two, okay, three and four, or, which is what we're gonna do, one, two, right now, three, changing here and striking the ribs. Now, why this is more preferable? Naturally, because when you strike this way, redirect and strike and strike, when you strike back, naturally your hand is gonna to turn to this side and it's easier for you to transition towards the other side, okay? One, two, three, strike for all the way through. So if you see it from the front, then it's gonna be easier that way. One, two, three, four, all the way through. Got it? So again, one, two, three, checking the hand, and look, four, striking the ribs all the way through. Got it? That way you can freely open, or even if he's here, you still have the space to strike uh, down. Now, if you're trying to attack the uh, head from this position, again, you have to turn this towards the other side, otherwise there's no space. So that's why I said, in this case, you're gonna attack the ribs, because it's gonna be easier. So again, one, two, three, four, got it? Same from the other side, one, two, three, checking the head, uh, the hand, and then four ribs all the way through. One more time, one, two, so excuse me, one more time, one, two, Three, checking that hand, look here, rips all the way through. You can put it here, but it's easier if you put it on the other side. Again, one, two, three, four. Got it? One more time. One, two, three, four. If you want, you can actually turn this into slow. One, two. Again, this redirects, the other one strikes. Three striking, but you strike the hand and then come back with the other one. Okay, one more time. Here, one, two three, four. Now make sure that when you strike, you actually move the hand from this side to the other side, not by twisting in this direction, but rather striking, imagine that this is a sword. So again, one, two, three, four, all the way through, rather than this. It's normal, it happens even to me a lot. Sometimes when I'm explaining things, I tend to focus on rotating, but in this case, you have to imagine that this is a sword and you're gonna strike with the blade, okay? One more time, one, two, three, four, okay? One more time, one, two, three, four, okay? So that's very basic, one, two, step uh, backwards, three, four, basic movement. 
Again, from the side, one, two, three, four. Got it? It's very basic movement. I'm not adding anything else. I'm not doing complicated footwork, so you get used to it. So again, the purpose of this is to get used to, to use the hands, okay? This is basic coordination. Obviously, in the beginning, all I want you to do is learning how to coordinate one hand with the other one in a proper manner, especially with the heights, because it's kind of complicated already. So don't pay so much attention to anything else. Now, later on, you can transform this into something more useful, and you can transform these, um, you can transform the same knowledge to a closer reach. What do I mean by that? Instead of doing this, which is what you're doing, you can actually start from long range and then transform this into a shorter range. If you see, now I'm not extending, I'm actually striking as if this was in a short range. And guess what? You can either incorporate the puños as well. So you can choose if you're getting closer using the puños or if you're moving a little bit farther away, you can use this. And if you move even farther away, you can take advantage of the length of the strikes, of the sticks, rather than uh, just focusing on, on one thing. So again, you can transform this into um, whatever you want according to your your distance. The only thing is that I would say, think about what is exactly what you're trying to achieve, right? So when you're doing this, you're trying to deflect, focusing that you're actually deflecting and not just moving side to side, but you have to learn how to deflect properly, same with the other side. Differentiate that between that strike than when you're striking the other um, strike, for example. In this case, you're striking the strike Therefore, you don't have to do this, or you don't move your stick towards the other side. You're literally just striking the strike. So focus on those uh, different parts, differentiate between a uh, redirection, then striking the strike, or striking the other person's hand or head, because otherwise you're just moving your, your hands around. So as long as you have that clear, we are going to incorporate more power and into these um, concepts a little bit later in different videos, but as of right now, just focus on coordination. Train as many times as possible and see you in the next video. Push.